whether you've discovered a few bed bugs in your home or you're currently in the midst of a full-blown infestation, you want solutions and you want them fast. In this video, we will discuss the use of bleach as a potential remedy and if it can be used effectively to kill bed bugs with limited repercussions. Bleach will kill bed bugs on contact. However, that fact alone only scratches the surface. While it's only human nature to go to town with the bleach and start pouring, bleach is a powerful liquid that can destroy your property as quickly as it can eliminate bed bugs. Additionally, bleach is a harsh chemical. With its harshness comes the risk of respiratory issues and skin irritation if not handled correctly. While the use of pure bleach is the best course of action in order to get the job done, it's imperative to be mindful of the big picture, most notably your health, the health of others, and the damage that bleach can do to your belongings, especially your bedding, mattress, furniture, and your walls. Before you begin to use bleach as a DIY remedy, it's vital that you formulate a game plan. The first course of action involves removing any and all objects and clutter away from the application area. This will involve moving items out of your rooms, such as pillows, rugs, clothing, pictures, and other valuables. Because even the most responsible and well-intended person can make a mistake, it's much easier to simply move everything out rather than run the risk of trouble. The next step involves washing your bedding. This includes all pillows, pillowcases, throws, comforters, and sheets. Move them out of your room and take them to the laundry room. Heat kills bed bugs, so it's wise to wash the aforementioned belongings in hot water and dry them for at least an hour or more. The hotter the better, and the longer the duration of heat the better. Once that has been taken care of, you can vacuum the room where the treatment will take place. Once you've finished, it's critical to empty the collection bag outdoors. While bed bugs can't survive heat, they can survive a routine vacuum cleaner. Suck them up and then ship them out. Leaving a vacuum bag full of bed bugs will obviously defeat the entire purpose of the treatment. Whether you decide to use pure bleach or dilute it with water, it's important that you're able to control the amount applied and have a controlled stream. This is why the use of a spray bottle is essential. This will enable you to treat your mattress and box springs. As a note of advice, we recommend that you do not use the mattress that is being treated for up to 14 days after a spray treatment. When it comes to more direct contact, Trade your spray bottle for a washcloth. Wipe down the surface areas with diluted bleach. Use protective latex gloves as to avoid skin irritation. Use extreme caution when going over these particulars. There's a fine line between killing bed bugs and compromising your furniture and other possessions. While getting rid of bed bugs with bleach won't be a quick fix, there are certain things you can do in an effort to make the treatment more effective. Step 1. Be diligent. As noted, this is going to be a difficult task. This is why once you decide to commit to a specific room, it's important to go all in. This includes all washable surfaces and other areas such as baseboards, headboards, nightstands, and any other prominent areas that can stand up to a bleach treatment. Step 2. Clear up and clear out. In the same way that avoiding a treated mattress for a couple of weeks is recommended, it's also wise to avoid a treated room entirely for a few days if possible. Step 3. Bring good things to light, more specifically sunlight. In an effort to boost the effectiveness of bleach, place all exposed furniture, most notably your mattress and box springs, in direct sunlight. After leaving your mattress in a safe location outdoors for up to 12 hours, Seal the mattress with a plastic cover for 6 to 12 months. This will ensure that any bugs that remain will suffocate and die. Once again, it can't be stated enough. This is a demanding task. And finally, step 4. 
As we briefly mentioned, the need to vacuum your floors prior to any form of bleach treatment is critical. This is vital and it's also essential that you go beyond casual vacuuming. Use attachments to make sure you get every nook and cranny. This includes areas of furniture and table legs that have tiny crevices. Vacuuming goes beyond the mere surface of your floor or carpet. Be thorough in this area as it will set the stage for a positive bleach treatment. Use heat if you are not confident that bleach alone is enough. 120 degrees is the magic number. Heat is the best choice for clothing and other items such as stuffed animals, pillows, blankets, various fabrics, and anything that can be tossed in your dryer. Heat is what professional pest companies use. However, if you're unable to afford such treatment, you can use a DIY version of your own. The most logical tool is a hair dryer. On average, a hair dryer can reach temperatures of 130 degrees. Although incredibly time consuming, if you have multiple hair dryers and multiple people on hand, this can be a team effort. Use this method on your carpet and other surface areas once the bleach has had the proper time to dry. We recommend waiting a full 24 hours. Using a combination of bleach and heat is wise if it can be accomplished. This will not only aid to eliminate the infestation in potentially one treatment alone, but it will also serve to minimize the amount of harmful chemicals that are used. As a helpful tip, if you would prefer using portable heaters compared to that of multiple hair dryers, it's critical to apply even heating, but not constantly. Too much heat in a single spot can damage your carpet. Make sure the heat is even, if for no other reason than to reduce the temperature of a specific location for a while. Heat is a great option for surfaces that aren't bleach friendly. Adopt this treatment method if possible. The answer to this question is no, and that's a good thing. Bed bugs will run from bleach once it makes contact with most any surface area, and quite obviously bleach will kill bed bugs on contact. The clear downside to bleach is that it could cause any survivors to hide away in various items. Any area with any tiny crevice is an ideal burrowing spot. If this occurs, the use of diluted bleach could work as a positive treatment to snuff out any stragglers and kill them directly. So much depends on the hiding area in question. As previously noted, the last thing you want to do is ruin your belongings. And with that final bit of information and advice, that will conclude things for this video. We hope you enjoyed the content. If you did, we invite you to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Whether you're watching us at bedbugsinsider.com or directly from our YouTube platform, we'd love for you to subscribe and join us on our journey. We produce fresh and informative content on a routine basis. Additionally, as it relates to this particular topic, we have a video concerning ways to rid your home of bed bugs naturally and another video concerning ways to remove bed bugs from your carpet. Both of these videos can run complementary to this one. So if you'd like to know more about general home protection as well as how to remove bed bugs from your carpet, visit our main YouTube page. Question time. Have you ever used bleach to get rid of bed bugs in your home? If so, what was your experience? Did you try a few tricks of the trade to make the process easier? Was bleach effective or did you have to scrap your plans and call in the professionals? If you have any type of experience using bleach to kill bed bugs, please share your story in the comments section below. Any advice, good, bad, or indifferent, can be helpful to others. Until we meet again, we thank you so much for watching. We wish you all the best with your treatment efforts, and we hope you have a wonderful day.